What's up, Collective? It's Kev, Intuitive Kev, and I'm back to do another random general message for the Collective. Hopefully everyone's doing well, feeling blessed, and highly favored. Holy Spirit, we ask that you continue to guide us and protect us. We ask that you give us insight and guidance in our current situations. We ask that you lift the veil of falseness and reveal that which is hidden from us. And we thank you for your blessing, your wisdom, your power, and your work in our lives. Thank you, Spirit. So uh, hopefully everyone's doing well, you know, feeling blessed and highly favored. Um, we're gonna get into the cards. I'm gonna use a few different decks today uh, just to see what, uh, well, you know, uh, anything we don't see coming, any updates or progress in our current situations, uh, the usual. Um, I'm gonna pull, what is this? I'm gonna pull overall energy from the archetype deck by Carolyn Miss. And I'm gonna clarify with the Kipper Ish, and then I'm gonna pull some more overall from the Hearts Hidden Secrets, and then I'm gonna clarify with the Crystal Gems Tarot. Um, but hopefully everyone's enjoying their day. Uh, you guys are enjoying your week thus far. Um, I have pre-shuffled and cleansed and all of that. Uh, let's get into it. Advocate inspires you to put compassion into action. Child, orphan. Independence based on learning to go it alone. Conquering fear of surviving. Uh, we also have bully. Highlights your tendency to intimidate others. Helps you confront the inner fears that bully you. And then we have athlete in the shadow. Misuse of athletic ability for selfish ends. False sense of invulnerability and entitlement. Pull one more. And we have Hermit in the shadow. Withdraws from society out of fear of negative judgments of others, refusing to help those in need. All right, so we have Advocate in the light, Child Orphan in the light, Bully in the light, Athlete in the shadow, and Hermit in the shadow. Um, bottom of the deck, this popped out during my pre-shuffle in the upright, in the light. Uh, Messiah, serving humanity with humility. Interesting. All right, so uh, I'm going to clarify each one of these with uh, the Kipper-ish. You know, see what we have that comes out for us. Uh, the first one out was Advocate, inspires you to put compassion into action. So this is somebody that, you know, may be an inspiration to others. Um, you know, somebody compassionate. They might inspire others to, you know, put their compassion into action you know, take action, um, advocate. Endings reverse. False narrative. Thoughts reverse. Karmic masculine. And unbothered reverse. Okay, so I don't know if there's somebody here that is, you know, they're not, maybe they're deciding not to put an end, someone that hasn't put an end to a false narrative. That's what I get. Endings reverse and false narrative. There's somebody here that has not spoken the truth. You know, there were some lies told. This has been coming out. It's been coming out. You know, there were some lies told. You know, there were a lot of lies told on some of you. You know, but there was a false narrative that was spread. And, you know, there was a person involved in a lot of cases, your past person, you know, whether this person helped spread the false narrative or, you know, made up the false narrative, whatever the case, this person has yet to end this false narrative. They refuse to speak the truth. They have yet to speak truth. Um, maybe because this person is not thinking about love, like they're not thinking about doing the right thing. They're not thinking about something, but they're not thinking about speaking the truth. Um, this person's triggered though, you know, unbothered reverse. They're, they're very, very much triggered, very much bothered by something. Um, I don't know. Let's pull a few more. Unbothered. What are they, what are they triggered by? What's going on here? Mentally and emotionally unstable reverse. Mature woman reverse. Faith. Third party sitch. Moving on reverse. 
So I don't know if you know this karmic masculine is triggered. You know, um, in a lot of cases, this this person or these people, you know, because we do have a distorted feminine here as well. Mature woman reverse, empress energy reverse. This could be, you know, a karmic mother, or this could be the doppelganger, the copycat. You know, they want to be the empress so bad, uh, but they're not. Um, I feel like somebody here is triggered. Somebody here is triggered and very much so mentally and emotionally unstable. It is this karmic fem here. You know, mature woman reverse, this empress energy, this doppelganger. You know, um, you know, they could be triggered because someone is not mentally and emotionally unstable. In a lot of cases, collective, you know, you, you're fine. Like you have released these karmic asses, you know, you've let the you let this energy go because it's, it's not serving your highest good. It has no, they, they have nothing for you. Um, nothing good. You know, a lot of you have been standing in your faith. You know, you took a leap of faith a while back, you know, and have not looked back. And that's as, as it was meant to be. Um, keep going. You know, but a lot of you are standing in your faith. Um, and there's a third party that refuses to move on. There's a third party situation here. You know, in a lot of cases, there was another energy. You know, this could have been, you know, uh, another a third party, like a, a, a person intruding on your relationship, a side piece. Or, you know, in some cases, you know, they tricked a masculine energy into a full commitment. You know, so that they could say, oh, well, that's the, you know, collective is the third party. I don't, we're married. Even though I did spell work to get this commitment, you know, we're married. You know, whatever the case uh, this person refuses to move on. It's like, okay, you got the commitment you wanted, right? You got the masculine you wanted, right? Why are you not moving on, you creature? Why are you not moving on? Why is this person not moving on? Why? Because it was never about the commitment. It was never about the masculine. It was always about you, collective. It was always about you, your destiny, your light, your gifts, that divine glow. Baby, you got it. You got the juice. But yeah, this masculine here, I don't know if they're afraid of this woman. They're afraid of this creature, this crutton, you know, and they're they are afraid to speak the truth. They have yet to speak the truth. They put they have yet to put an end to this false narrative. Uh, child orphan. Um, independence based on learning to go it alone. Conquering fear of surviving. This is where a lot of, a lot of you, family, you know, you are carrying this energy. You have become, you, had, you were forced into independence. You know, you've, you've learned to go it alone. You've had to face many obstacles, many alone by yourself with none or minimal support. Child orphan, imprisonment, awakening in reverse, commitment, reverse, soulmate, reverse. This person's trapped. Somebody's trapped. Chakras, what, what, what are chakras? What chakras? Do? Intuitive cave. What's the intuitive cave? I gotta pull one more. Emotional pain reverse. Yeah. I kept pulling because I'm like, I feel the shift. As soon as we hit chakras in the upright, I'm like, okay, there's a shift. Um, man. Um, so you know, there's somebody. You know, I feel like you know, overall energy. That's you. You know, you're independent. You've learned to go at things alone. You've had to go at things alone. You know, at the whole city. Or, you know, the whole community. <laughs> These fucking weirdos. <laughs> They've all teamed up. And, you know, you, you've been the odd man or the odd woman out. You know, you had to go it alone. You know, there is somebody in your energy here that's trapped. This could be the masculine energy. <laughs> Imprisonment. You know, I made this card to represent somebody actually going to jail. You know, somebody could be facing jail time. Somebody might be in there already or somebody's trapped in something. You know, they are trapped. I do have a card that represents trapped, it's bondage. So this is like talking about jail time, but you know, it could be somebody trapped. This person is trapped because maybe they were unawakened to something. You know, this could be somebody refusing an awakening. I see 11, 11, 11 and 11. 11, 11, me and you, they, they was gonna wake up. You ain't wanna... <laughs> You know, but somebody could be trapped in something because they refuse to awaken. Um, commitment reverse, you know, either this person is ending a commitment or they are, you know, in a karmic commitment. You know, this person's trapped in like a false marriage. You know, they are bound to Eveline with a ball and chain, you know, um, or they could be wanting to end a commitment. They could be ending a commitment. 
with this person. Uh, yeah, soulmate reverse. They're not with, you know, they're ending. They want to end the commitment with a false soulmate. That's what I get. Somebody's trapped, you know, possibly, you know, unawakened or refusing an awakening, refusing a transformation, but they're trapped. You know, uh, they want to end a commitment with a false soulmate, a karmic soulmate. Uh, this person could be getting balanced. This could be their energy. This could be yours. Um, chakras in the upright, intuitive cave in the upright, emotional pain reverse. You know, this could be you. This could be your energy. You know, you've had to go with things alone. You know, a lot of you are balanced. You know, chakras aligned. Uh, intuition on fleek. You know, you're catching those signs. You're catching catch those synchronicities. You've been paying attention. And a lot of you have healed. You've healed or you're healing from, you know, deep emotional pain. Three of swords energy. You know, you're coming out of, you know, all of that betrayal and you're coming out on top. Emotional pain, intuitive cave chakras. I cannot make this up. Hey, baby. <laughs> I knew that was you. What's up, boo? <laughs> Hi, love. Uh, rich girl, this is Queen of Pentacles energy. It's in the upright. You know, a man, this could be a man or a woman. This person is, you know, successful in their own right, financially stable or getting there. This could be somebody business oriented. This is somebody focused on the bag, you know? And I felt that this was your energy when we were pulling here. You know, you're coming out of emotional pain. You know, you are tapped in. Your intuition, you've been, your intuition has been guiding you and you've been listening. Your chakras are aligned, you know? You're healing or have healed from emotional pain. And that's what I feel. I feel like you healed from emotional pain and you got in your bag. Stepped out of the mess and got in your bag. Started focusing on your money, focusing on doing better. You're out here looking good, stacking them pinnacles. You go, girl. You go, boy, whoever. Um, next, we have Bully. <coughs> uh, it's in the light attribute. Uh, it says highlights. Your tendency to uh, intimidate others helps you confront the inner fears that bully you. I think that's a low, you know, like seriously, uh, your tendency to intimidate others. So let me get this right. 30 people, you know, 20 people, 10 people, even if it was five, whatever the case, these people teamed up to go against you. And now they're, you know, their punk asses are intimidated by you. <laughs> Why? Because you rose to the occasion. <laughs> you know, you still out here <laughs> thugging it out, you know, looking good. You know, in alignment, they couldn't defeat you. You know, now they're intimidated. All 10 of y'all teamed up on me. Now you're intimidated. Make that make sense. Uh, bully. Occupation. Karma reverse. Divine feminine reverse. Healer reverse. Surprise. Unexpected money, baby. That's that's a surprise. <laughs> surprise, I'm rich. <laughs> Man. Um. Okay, so yeah, you know, you might have an occupation. This has been coming out. I've been getting this energy. You know, you might have an occupation. You've been in, you're in your bag. You know, you got out your feelings and get on your, got in your bag. Uh, you can have an occupation, a title, a position. You know, you may be in business for yourself. You're doing something. You're doing something and it's going well for you. Uh, meanwhile, I feel like the people that have been, someone that's been focused on you, they're receiving bad karma. I feel like the, yesterday this came out, this person, this divine feminine reverse, super jealous, super envious of whatever it is you do. They want to do what you do. You know, oh, pick me ass. They wanted your person, you know, tricked your person, got your person. Now they want your life. They want what you do. You know, they want to do what you do. They want to look how you look. You know, they want to carry the energy that you carry. Like, what a put... Ugh. Anyway, this creature, you know, they're going through bad karma. This came out yesterday, too. They're going through bad karma. Why? Because they're, they're, their life is a projection of the energy they have put out. They put out negative energy, and now it's manifesting in their own life. You know? And just to, to further reiterate that, ritual reverse. If this bozo, this clownette, or this clown, you know, was dumb enough to do some ritual work, you know, they wanted to send something towards you, it went back. So say they wanted to project the energy of, you know, not winning, or of you, you know, being imbalanced, or you not having money. The shit went back. Now they're, they're, lit, they're sitting in their own energy and probably mad about it. I feel like this person wanted to distort you. They wanted to distort you. A lot of you carry healing energy. You are a healer. 
you know, man or woman, you're a healer, you have healing energy. You know, this could be your purpose. It's what you're supposed to be doing, healing others. Um, and I can't help but notice that eight, eight zero, uh, eight, you know, eights talk about abundance. Baby, surprise, unexpected money. That's that abundance, boo. <laughs> That's that abundance, boo. Surprise, uh, 14 is uh, temperance in uh, tarot, earth angel, healer, earth angel. You have, this came out of my reading yesterday. You got something coming towards you, love. It's something coming towards you, a blessing, you know, that you are well-deserving of. There's something coming towards you. But I feel like this divine feminine, they wanted to, they, they're, they're receiving bad karma for trying to distort you. They want it so bad to distort your energy, have you distorted. You know, they didn't want you upright, shining your light. They wanted, they're receiving bad karma currently because they tried to distort you. Dumb, dumb. They're just, I mean, <laughs> um, but I feel like, you know, surprise, you know, it's, it's going to be a really big surprise. Well, uh, you know, a lot of people involved, you know, that uh, this money's coming in. It's going to catch you. I feel like this is major. You know, you are so deserving. Beloved, you are so deserving. I don't know what this is for you. You know, you're already in your bag, you know, but uh, I feel like that bag about to get real heavy. It's about to get real heavy, love. <laughs> you know, uh, unexpected money. Surprise, unexpected money. What is this, Spirit? Holy Spirit, what is this? Real love reverse. Abundance reverse. Transition reverse. Relationship reverse. Goodness. Ugh. Protection reverse. What, what, what is happening? What is happening to the world? Nice guy. In the upright, he came out yesterday. Okay, so look, I pulled five more cards, right? Why all of these come out reverse? Real love reverse, abundance reverse. <laughs> Transition reverse, relationship reverse, protection reverse. This is just all bad. All of this right here, it's like maybe somebody tried to send you an energy where you didn't have love. You know, there was no real love coming towards you. It went back. You know, they didn't want you to have love. They didn't want you to have abundance. You know, they wanted something to end for you. They wanted a relationship to end for you, a connection to end for you. They didn't want you to be protected. This person's getting all of that back. All of that back. Now they, you know, real love reverse. There's no genuine love around them. You know, they're losing abundance. You know, they wanted something to end for you. It's not. Whatever they wanted to end for you, maybe it was your abundance. Maybe it was someone's love for you. It didn't end. Transition reverse. It's not ending. Now their relationship is ending. Now they don't have protection. Like all of those back to back to back to back to back. Oh, goodness. This is somebody who worked real hard to earn all of this bad karma they're receiving. A bully. Uh, athlete in the shadow. Misuse of athletic ability for selfish ends. False sense of invulnerability and entitlement. This is somebody entitled. Somebody here is entitled. You know, they thought that they were too big to be beat. You know, I don't know if this is this King of Cups energy, this nice guy energy or what. Uh, they're in the upright, you know, today. Um, but I get the energy of somebody who thought that they were just, you know, big, bad, big and bad. Too big to be beat, you know. Uh, athlete in the shadow. The distant future, that wanted to flip into reverse. North node. Conflict reverse. Actual money reverse. Child reverse. Whoo, okay. So whoever this is, whoever this is, they are, you know, currently, I feel like distant future reverse, this is current energy or near future. Somebody's getting into their North Node. They're getting into alignment. They want to get into their North Node. They don't want to fight anymore. Conflict reverse. Maybe they were mad. They were mad, you know, uh, oh, the collective, rah, 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 the collective, rah, rah. You know, whatever the case. They were mad, red in the face, you know. <laughs> they don't want to fight anymore. 555, five, five, that talks about, you know, a time of great change, transition, transformation. You know, it's, gonna be, it's, a, it's a new day around here. You know, uh, but I feel like somebody, you know, near future or current energy, somebody stepping into their North Node. Deciding, you know what, it's cold or, you know, it's hot and it's stanky downstairs. I'm getting ready to go upstairs. I'm going upstairs. I don't want to be in the basement with you stanky individuals no more. It smells like feet 
and Doritos down here. I'm going upstairs. I don't want to be downstairs no more. I'm going upstairs. They don't want to fight. They don't want any conflict. When, when this car came out, I kid you not, I swear. When this car came out, I heard the words, I don't want no smoke. So <laughs> maybe this person don't want, they don't want no smoke. You know, they did want the smoke. They don't want no smoke no more. You know, in the ass whooped by karma, they don't want no smoke. Uh, I feel like they're doing this because this person is taking losses. Actual money reverse, child reverse. You know, they are losing money. It is dwindling fast, you know. I'm I'm picturing somebody like digging through couch cushions. Uh I mean, which I wouldn't wish that on nobody, but you know, hey, like I say, our life is a projection of the energy we put out. Tear out. Unless you know, unless, you know, in those occurrences where you know we've all been in, or you got some knucklehead behind the scenes manipulating energy. You know, they love to do that. Uh child reverse, you know, this is somebody missing out on a new opportunity. You know, a fresh start. They're losing money and they miss an opportunity. Losing money and losing opportunities. That's what I get. They don't want to fight no more because they losing. They losing things. They don't like losing things. I don't like losing things. I'm mad. I'm mad because I'm losing out. Uh, hermit reverse. Or hermit in the shadow. Withdraws from society out of fear or negative judgments of others, refusing to help those in need. So this is somebody, look at this man, crammed into this tiny little house. This is somebody that refuses to heal. They don't wanna heal, they just wanna hide out because they know they're a fucked up person. They know they did a bunch of fucked up shit. You know, they did a lot of wrong and I, I don't wanna be judged for it. I know I'm a piece of shit. I don't wanna be judged for it. Leave me alone. Let me be in here and wallow in my own self-pity. That's what I get. Hermit in the shadow. The veil reverse. Yeah, they see the real. You know, their veil has been lifted. They see what's going on here. They might have got a message about it. What, what the heck? Divine masculine. In the upright. Come through. In the upright. It's about time you showed up. Uh, work, labor, and efforts reverse. Rising star, reverse. Or I mean, uh, upright, 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 baby. I was thinking about that, that work, labor, and efforts in reverse. That's why I said reverse. Um, so this is somebody that's spending a lot of time alone. They're spending a lot of time alone because they feel like they're under judgment. You know, a lot of things have come to light. A lot has been revealed. And you know, typical of these cowards, you know, they do, they throw rocks and hide their hands. So once they're caught, you know, there's ocular proof of them throwing that rock. What do they want to do? They want to hide out. They want to hide out that tiny little house by themselves, you know, because they're ashamed. Because all those times they threw a rock and hit their hand, it has come to the light. It's been revealed. We see you, coward. We see you. This is somebody who's seeing things clearly. They're seeing things clearly. The veil has been lifted. Maybe they were an illusionist. They were casting an illusion, you know, spreading a false narrative, you know, that they refuse to speak the truth on. Uh, you know, the, the, the veil has been lifted. Everybody sees the real, you know, and this person might have got a message about that. You know, this is somebody. It, it, it is a divine masculine. You know, or somebody that wants to step into that energy. Uh, we had North Node. You know, somebody wants to step into their North Node currently, current energy. They're in their North Node, maybe not wanting to fight because they've taken losses. But this is somebody that, you know, I feel like they put a lot of hard work. There go those ones and those sevens. Those of you who watch me, you know, I'm always talking about ones and sevens. One, three and eight, 11. So one, 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 seven, seven. I cannot get away from these numbers. <laughs> uh, but I feel like, you know, this person, they put a lot of hard work in the wrong. They invested a lot, you know, uh, in like negatively affecting a rising star. You know, because that uh, this is like eight of Pentacles energy, you know, eight of Pentacles reversed. You know, they invested in the wrong thing. You know. This is like, you know, somebody investing. This is a divine masculine investing, you know, a lot of good energy, a lot of good time, love, care, concern into a rising star. This is somebody investing a lot of lies, a lot of treachery, a lot of deceit into a rising star. They try to tear you down with that false narrative that they would spread. 
What else we have here? Rising star. They tried to steal something from you and they were caught. Thief reverse. They could have tried to steal something from you and maybe they were exposed. They've been caught. <sighs> Death magic reverse. They tried to end something for you. Maybe your rise, your ascension. They tried to end something for you. In some cases, they tried to end you. They sent this bullshit towards you. Yeah, reverse. It came out reverse. Death magic reverse. It's going back. Return to sender. That's why this person's taking losses. They're losing things. Oh, and they're worried about it too. Look at them. <laughs> biting them nails, baby. Fingernails gone. Fingertips are nubs. They're biting them all off because they know this shit's coming back. Look, oh my God. <laughs> oh, I know I sent that death. <laughs> I know I sent that death magic to collective. I know it's coming back. Oh, Lord, please, Lord. Spare me, Lord, please. 33. Spare me, Lord. I know I know I sent that to collective and I know it's coming right on back. Oh, help me, Lord. That's what I get. <laughs> concerned. They concerned. Yeah, they worried. Uh, maybe this uh Queen of Swords reverse is worried. A karmic feminine energy, or maybe this is this person in their feminine energy, a liar and a narcissist. What's going on here? Manifestation reverse. Yeah, their manifestations are not coming in right now. This could be a family member. What's going on? Family, hold on. Self-love reverse. This per man. So this could be like a, maybe a member of their family. Like I said, that Queen of Swords reverse has been coming out to me as like a karmic ass mother, a karmic hating ass, karmic ass, narc ass mother figure. You know, it could be a father figure. It could be a man. It could be a brother, a sister. It could be anybody. This person don't love themselves. You know, they struggle with self-esteem. They don't really love themselves. So it's hard for them to love anybody else. Uh, then this is family. It's somebody's family. Their manifestation is not coming in right now. Yeah, somebody losing money. Rich guy reverse. You know, this is the opposite of you. This is your karmic counterpart. You know, they are, uh, while you, you know, getting to the bag, you know, they're losing it. Fumbling. Fumbling the bag. Uh, let's get into the spread. Let's get into the spread. Um, I wanted to, uh, one of you sent me a Oracle deck and I absolutely love it. I've been wanting, to, I've been wanting this deck. It's been on my wish list for a while. And one of you sent it to me, you know, one of my fellow star seeds, my fellow fam, uh, you sent me the light worker Oracle deck by Alana Fairchild. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, my love. Thank you, beloved. Um, we're going to use this today. I'm going to pull two cards from here. Lightworker Oracle deck. Uh, this is available on Amazon, I believe. Uh, really good deck. The artwork is amazing. You know, most of the decks that Alana Fairchild puts out are really, really dope. Uh, I think she put out uh, the Starseed Oracle deck as well. Um, really good deck. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's get into the, the tarot. We're going to pull some overall from uh, Hearts Hidden Secrets here. And then we are going to uh, get into the tarot. Let me do a quick little show from here. Hopefully you guys are enjoying your day. If you're working, you're not working too hard. Um, let's get into it. Escaping, avoiding, blocking, pushing away. Influences, reverse. Attachments, third parties, peers, reverse. Divine masculine, reverse. Yang, masculine energy, reverse. <sighs> Time, waiting, cycles, moments. And emotional storm, turmoil, unstable, affected. Okay, so we have escaping, influences, reverse. Divine masculine, reverse. Time and emotional storm. Divine Masculine Reverse, we've been having that one come out. Influence is Reverse, we've had that one come out quite a bit too. Time in the Upright, that's been coming out as well. Um, we're going to clarify with the Crystal, I think it's Crystal Gems, I don't know. Crystal, the Crystal Zero Deck. <laughs> uh, let's get into it. Escaping, avoiding, blocking, pushing away. So somebody could be trying to, you know, escape something. You know, they're blocking, 
maybe they're the truth, maybe their emotions, you know, they're trying to push people away because they're ashamed or, you know, whatever the case, I don't know, escaping. Somebody's trying to escape something, escape judgment. Uh, escaping, page of pentacles reverse. The sun reverse. Eight of swords, oh goodness. Wheel of Fortune reverse. Oh my gosh. This is just horrible. Seven of Pentacles reverse. Okay, so <laughs> collect that. Oh my goodness. And then look, judgment reverse. Didn't I say somebody trying to escape judgment? They don't want to be judged. Baby. Collected this five. I mean, good. I don't even. This is so heavy. My back, my back hurt. I mean, <laughs> this is really heavy. Okay, so clarifying escaping, avoiding, blocking, pushing away. Page of Pentacles, reverse. This is financial bad news. Financial bad news, somebody could have lost a job. They're losing money. They have to pay something back. The sun, reverse. This talks about unhappiness. You know, it's the opposite of joy. The opposite of success. It talks about a time of uh, stagnancy. No growth. You know, no expansion. No joy. No sun. Eight of swords. Somebody's trapped. Trapped, bound. This could uh, talk about somebody in a mental prison, a spiritual prison, or actual prison going to jail. Didn't we have imprisonment come out in the, uh, the yeah, in the Kipper Ish deck? Somebody's trapped in this. That's the one card in the upright. Wheel of Fortune reverse. Bad luck, bad fortune, bad karma. The wheel has turned out of someone's favor. Seven of Pentacles reverse. Reaping what you've sown. In reverse, this is bad karma. Bad karma. Two cards right here. Wheel of Fortune reverse and Seven Pentacles reverse. This is a whole lot of bad karma. A whole lot of karmic debt. Whew. So clearly, I mean, we see what they're trying to escape. Somebody's avoiding, blocking, pushing away. They want to escape this shit. Like I said, bottom of the deck. Judgment reverse. And I I mean, y'all know how this works. Like, I don't just pick and choose what cards come out <laughs> and where they land. Like, this is, this is the message. Uh, somebody don't want to be judged. They're going through a lot. You know, I'm not going to negate that. This person's going through a whole lot. You know, it's real heavy. Uh, next, we have influences reverse. Attachments, third parties, peers reverse. You know, somebody could be releasing bad influences. They could be cutting attachments, releasing third parties, letting go of karmic peers. Or this could just talk about, though, you know, the bad influences, bad attachments, karmic third parties, karmic peers. Uh, influences reverse. The high priestess. BB. The star reverse. Page of Cups. Knight of Swords reverse. Ten of Cups. So the Ten of Cups, we had that family card come out of the uh the Kipper ish as well. You know, for some of you, this is a situation, you know, involving family. You know, and for some of you, this is like, you know, a situation where like your past person was involved with your family. You know, uh, your past person conspired with your family or your family conspired with your past person. It was all about material gain, you know, or some diabolical shit where they thought that they could sacrifice you, you know, steal your destiny. What God ordained for you, they thought that they could take that from you. I mean, just a Trump God. Oh, yeah, we go step right on top of God. It's the most high, but we go step on him. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Dumbasses. Fucking idiots. Uh, I feel like a lot of you know this intuitively. High Priestess Energy. Baby, hey, what's up, boo? Uh, this is Queen of Cups Energy. You know, somebody highly intuitive. You know, you could be psychic. You could have any one of the clairs. You could be a medium. You're tapped in. You know, we had Intuitive Kev come out. Right, uh, right with you uh, in the Kipper Ish deck. You know, your intuition's on fleek. You catching those signs, catching those synchronicities. You have an inner knowing, you know? You don't even need ocular or concrete proof. You know what's up. You feel it in your spirit. Uh, the star reverse, somebody did not get wish fulfillment. And I feel like this is a family. This could be a family member or somebody that you had a family dynamic with. This person, the star reverse, like I, this came out my read yesterday. If they, if you say you're a star seed, family, what's up, fam? Um, they lost you. High priestess in the upright, you know, a star seed or somebody in the public eye, you know, they lost you. 
You know, or they released you. Made the mistake of release. They let you go? Oh, okay. <laughs> they released you. This could also talk about somebody losing hope or somebody not getting their, their wish fulfilled. You know, they're not getting what they want. Um, this person wants to apologize. Whoever this is, they want to apologize to this high priestess energy. Page of Cups. They want to say sorry. They want to send a message of, of, of sentiment. You know, I love you. I miss you. I'm really, really sorry for Knight of Swords, reverse. I'm really, really sorry for talking shit and spreading lies about you. I'm really sorry for taking impulsive action and lying on you. I'm really sorry for going, going to authorities and making false accusations about you. Whatever the case. I'm your family. You know, we were supposed to be better than that. I'm really sorry. That's what I get. Ten of Cups. What's this Ten of Cups? This is family. I'm assuming. Ten of Cups. Five of Wands. This was somebody in competition with you. Competing. Yes, yeah, family. Jealous and envious ass family. If y'all don't sit y'all dumb asses down, like seriously. Supposed to be wrong. Like, they could have been at the table with you. That's the shit I don't understand. I would, it, it would never, I just don't understand it. They could have literally been at the table with you, but they wanted to be stupid. Just dumb. Ugh. King of Wands. This might be a fire sign. Ooh, goodness. <laughs> uh, King of Wands in the upright. You know, this is a, a leader. You know, uh, I believe this is Aries energy, but it could be fire sign. It could be any sign. This is just somebody that is confident, attractive. They tend to take the lead. This person can be creative. Uh, I see this lion. You know, I don't know if this is a Leo. I don't know. It's, it could be fire energy. This person has fire in there, you know. Uh, yeah, we got five of wands. It was in competition. This Leo was com competing with you. Or this Aries was competing. Somebody was competing with you. Uh, this is somebody typically attractive, typ typically confident, a leader. But clearly, you know, they have some insecurity if they wanted to compete with you. The Tower. Seven of Cups reverse. You know what I just got off of that? I don't know if this person watches me. You know? May, or maybe, you know, she, this might be my story. I might be, a, you know, solving my own case up in this camp. You know, uh, but there's a tower. <laughs> what I immediately got, boom, you know, there's a tower. You know, a sudden uh, upheaval, transformation, a realization. Uh, seven of Cups reverse. An illusion has been shattered. You know, there was a lot of confusion, a lot of delusion, stuff wasn't making sense, or something was unknown. It's known now. I might have just, uh, maybe I cued you in. This is resonant. Give me, uh, you know, those confirmations. I appreciate you, fam, when you give me those confirmations in the comments, via email, whatever the case. You know, uh, if this is resonating for you or if this, you know, if you just put two and two together, let me know, please. Because this doesn't always resonate for me. Uh, but yeah, there's a tower moment for this person. You know, a sudden realization. Maybe because an illusion has, sh has been shattered. You know, a spell has been broken. That's what I get. Because it's like this woman up here, she on a dragon. The dragon is holding cups. There's a rainbow coming out of one of the cups. I don't know. It's a lot going on. Beautiful artwork. There's a lot going on here. Uh, you know, there's an illusion shattered. A whole bunch of confusion has been cleared. Maybe for this King of Wands. Uh, Divine Masculine Reverse. You know, this is a karmic masculine. You know, somebody can't stand up straight. You know, they still, they downstairs in the basement, you know, smelling like feet and Doritos, you know. Uh, it's hot as hell. <laughs> I mean, they are down. <laughs> it's hot as hell. You know, they down there in the basement, them downstairs. Uh, Divine masculine reverse. Eight of Wands reverse. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Ten of Swords. Three of Wands reverse. Ace of Swords. These people are just, I mean, they are ugh, just uh, like, where do they come from? Is this, this is family? Like, oh, no. Oh, just throw them all away. Let's start fresh. Uh, there's a divine masculine here. Uh, a karmic masculine. You know, this person, I feel like this person is not communicating or they're blocked. They're not communicating something. You know, Eight of Wands reverse, maybe about a Queen of Pentacles reverse. 
Queen of Pentacles reverse is a materialistic, superficial, feminine energy. This could be a man or a woman. Now, what I'm about to say next is not going to, it's not for everybody, but it is for somebody. I feel that. There is someone, somewhere, that has passed away. Ten of Swords. There is a Queen of Pentacles energy, Queen of Pentacles reverse, that has faced a painful, permanent ending. Look at this woman. It could be a man or a woman, but they have 10 swords and you see all of that blood, they are bleeding out. And you know, it's, yeah, it's a wrap on that one. Uh, somebody is not communicating that someone else has passed away. There's been a death. My deepest condolences to whoever this is for. Someone's not, they're not telling you. They have not sent the message or not communicated that somebody, somebody's gone. Somebody has checked out. They've gone to the, the upper room. You know, they've gone on to glory. Uh, I mean, it's probably the death magic they were sending out. I mean, shit. We saw, collective, did we or did we not have to come out reverse out of the Kipper Ish deck? It's going back. <laughs> you know, and that's not fun. I'm not laughing at, you know, somebody's demise, somebody's untimely demise, you know, but uh, they put that energy out. They put that energy out. Like I said, take what resonates, leave what does not. I feel like there's somebody that's not communicating the death. They don't want to let you know. They don't want to let you know that, oh, yeah. You know, the witch is dead. And maybe because that person has crossed on or crossed over, somebody's ships are not coming in. You know, they was in this together. You know, it was a plan. It was a team plan. You know, they done lost, you know, they done lost their leader or something. You know, three of wands reversed. Their ships are not coming in. They're feeling really pessimistic about their future. Like, what do I do now? I didn't burn the bridge with the collective. And now, you know, my other bridge, you know, it didn't collapse. It's gone. It got 10 swords in it. You know, uh, and I'm a liar. I done told all of these lies. I done told really big lies. Ace of swords. No truth, no clarity. I've provided no truth and no clarity. I'm a big old liar. Now what I'm going to do? Man. Collective. Yeah. What they going to do now? Because you done moved on. Six of swords. You have moved from rough waters to calmer waters. You done moved on, collective. What they going to do now? Time, waiting, cycles, moments. Nine of Swords reverse. Ace of Pentacles reverse. All these, this is just, uh, goodness. I'm gonna just bad karma. I'm gonna title this video, Bad Karma. The That's it, that's the title. <laughs> Man, goodness. Four of Wands. Three of Swords reverse. Woo, six of Wands. We, we keep having that come out in the upright. Check my life. I mean, I think we were on like 10 reads now. Six of Wands in the upright. Turn it off. Um, Six of Wands. Yeah, Six of Wands, victory and success. Okay, so yeah. I don't know if somebody has been, you know, watching the clock. They're waiting. They waiting for something. What they waiting for? Um, Nine of Swords reverse. I feel like this is somebody coming out of a nightmare. They're coming out of depression, out of anxiety, out of, you know, uh, worry, fear, and doubt. This could be you, but I feel like this is somebody else. They're wanting to, you know, or they're either finally stepping out of a nightmare, maybe since some energy has been cleared, or they're wanting to. This person missed an opportunity. You know, they could be receiving financial bad news. They're losing money, which that's been heavy. That's been heavy in the energy. They're losing money. Ace of Pentacles reversed. They're losing money. They have lost some type of money. Or they have lost an opportunity with a twin flame. They've lost an opportunity for stability, for a union, for a celebration. Four, four, uh, four of Wands is 11-11, twin flame. This person might have lost the opportunity to be with a twin flame. And I feel like, you know, just like I said, you know, Six of Swords, y'all have moved forward. Uh, three of Swords reverse, Six of Wands. You were heartbroken, collective. I know. Because <laughs> I've been doing these readings, you know, for a, a little bit over a year now. Um, you were heartbroken. Three of Swords, you were heartbroken when this person left. When they did you how they did you, it really messed you up. It took a while to recover from. Some of you are still recovering. Keep going. Keep going. But for a lot of you, you healed. 
You have healed from that heartbreak. You pulled yourself out of that rut that this person left you in. And guess what you did? As soon as you got up, well, you won. You decided to win, baby. <laughs> Six of wands. Leo energy, it could be, you know, any sign. But this talks about victory, success. You got up out of that rut, healed your own heart, and you you started winning. Stepped into this, vic this victory, energy, this victorious energy, as you should be. Another lion. This is Leo energy. Baby, step right into victory and success. Like, oh, okay, that's how we doing it? Okay, yeah, let me go ahead and heal so I can level up on that ass. And that's what you did. Nine of Cups, Pooh, what's up? Uh, Nine of Cups, you know, this talks about wish fulfillment. It can talk about uh, being satisfied, being happy. But you know, nines talk about independence. Like the Nine of Pentacles is somebody who is independent, self-sufficient, or, you know, successful on their own. Nine of Cups is somebody who is emotionally fulfilled on their own. You're happy. You're content. You're satisfied. You have enough self-love. You know, you are fine. You're good. You're A1, loving yourself. Now, are you welcoming to somebody else coming in and, you know, adding some love to it, maybe bringing you that 10th cup? Absolutely. But you're good by yourself. You had to learn how to be that way. We had another card come out, too, that said that. You know, you had to go at things alone. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, you know, you good. Six of Wands, what is this winning? You winning, we know you winning, what you winning? BB, what you winning? Five of Swords, you overcame some type of uh, deceit, some lies ever told on you, some deception. Somebody put two swords in your back and then tried to sneak away, coward. Five of Swords. Six of Pentacles, reverse. Yeah, this was a, uh, somebody tried to, they took some money from you. They took some money or they accepted a bribe in order to, 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 to do something to you. Six of Pentacles reverse. Somebody took some money. They were paid some money in order to betray you. Or they got some money. They received some type of money for betraying you. For putting swords in your back, they received some type of money. A payment, a bribe. This could have been your karmic ass family. It could have been anybody. That's what I feel, though. I feel like somebody else. And you still winning. You still winning. To hell what they thought. Still winning, Pooh. Yeah, and this is... Oh. Am I spilling the beans? Hey, hey, that's what I feel like. I didn't, this is like my second indicator for me. That, like, I'm, I just exposed some shit. The moon reverse. What was hidden? All those secrets. What was hidden? What they did in the cover, under the cover of darkness has been exposed. It's come to light. I'm telling somebody's story. I'm exposing some karmic clowns somewhere. The moon reverse, secrets are out. Boop, beep, bop, at your door. <laughs> boop, boop. <laughs> Emotional storm, uh, turmoil, unstable, un uh, or affected. Well, somebody could be going through an emotional storm. They feeling sorry for themselves. I know I ain't your shit. I really did you bad. I did you real bad, Empress. I'm so sorry. I know I ain't shit. Page of Swords reverse. Yeah, this person talked trash about you. Page of Swords reverse. They lied on you. They spread vicious lies and gossip and slander and smear campaign. You know, they told lies on you. Could have went to court to lie. You know, could have lied to your family. Could have lied to your community. These people are trash. Garbage. Goodness, it's so disgusting. Period, pool. What they thought? What were they thinking? What was they thinking, Caps? Were they were they thinking? Justice will be served. I say it almost every read. Beloved, you will get justice. You will get vindication. You might not get vengeance, you know? If you're lucky, you get to watch, though. You get to see it. But you know, vengeance, vengeance is the Lord's. You know, I learned that very early on because when I went through my betrayals, beloved, I know I was out for blood, baby. I was formulating some plans, let me tell you. But you know, I literally, I had divine intervention. Stop me. Like, uh, no. Kev, what you're not going to do, that's what you're not going to do, buddy. You know, so, uh, yeah. You will get justice. You will get vindication. But, uh, vengeance is the Lord's. Justice in the upright, baby. It's yours. What they thought. For every lie they told. Every lie. Every single lie they told on you. You will get justice. Yeah. The justice is, guess who's not moving forward? They want to run in their mouth. Bump their gums. Lie to authorities. Lie in court. Lie to your friends. Lie to your family. Lie to your community. 
And because of that, they're not moving forward. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Go straight to jail or hell. Your choice. Dumbass. Four of Swords. Strength. Period, pool. That's you right. Death. So somebody's not moving forward. You know, and I'm taking this a couple different ways. These next three cards, you know, uh, this could be, the, you know, they're going to have to heal. They're going to have to do some healing work. They're going to have to summon the strength and the faith, you know, the faith of a mustard seed. They go have to, you know, summon it all, gather it all together, you know, and go through this transformation. Go through this rebirth. They're going to have to. In a lot of cases, though, what I'm really getting, this is you. Four swords, you healed from all of that betrayal. Every lie they told, every spell they sent, all of the bullshit these people put you through. You healed. You had the strength to do so. More Leo energy. Could be any sign. I keep seeing these lions though, baby. Leo gang, what's up, fam? Um, you had the strength to do so. You, beloved, you went through that transformation, that rebirth, that death. You went through it. You got through it. Congratulations. Bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Cups reverse. You know, this could be someone wanting, wanting to express some type of love, wanting to send a message of love, uh, you know, make a love offer. But there, this can also represent love bombing. Like somebody coming in, you see this man is on a unicorn. He ain't even on a horse. You on a unicorn. Like, what the heck? What? But uh, <laughs> this is somebody coming in either with an insincere love offer or they're coming in laying it on real thick. You know, love bombing you, you know, just being extra. Mm. Had the cups reverse. Yeah, this is somebody coming towards you. They go try to love bomb you, pull on your heartstrings, but guess what? You the queen of swords. What, what heartstrings? What heartstrings were they pulling on? And besides that, you look at all these butterflies. You know, butterflies to me represent like our passed over loved ones, our spirit team, our angels, you know, those around us. She got one on her hand. You are surrounded, divinely protected. My love, divinely protected. You got all your people around you. They about to come in here with this bullshit. You're protected. And you got your sword up, you know? Yeah, they want to come. Oh, I, I, I really love you. I want to be with you. I'm sorry, please. I want to start over. <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, past person or not, you know, I feel like this is coming towards you. Yeah, let's just, let's scrap that joker. Yeah, we done threw him. Yeah, goodbye. Queen of Swords, beloved. I feel like you got this Ace of Cups coming regardless. A lot of cases, this is going to be a new person. A lot of cases, some of y'all don't even, you're not even focused on love. You don't want a relationship. You know, you kind of cool on that right now. This can also talk about unconditional love, self-love. Ace of Wands, you go get that fresh start, love. You go get that fresh start, love. You know, I feel like the Joker that was coming in, that one, that Joker we just threw way, way over there to the other room. Uh, <laughs> that person was coming in with some toxic energy. They was coming in on some other shit, the devil. Somebody could be playing in some two of wands. They're playing and strategizing, you know, making a choice. Uh, I know my meditation music did not just cut off on me. They trifling. Haters. Uh, <laughs> Queen of Wands. Or this, yes, yeah, this is Queen of Wands planning and plotting. Oh, let's plan. Well, I know the collective about to get everything they want, everything they deserve. Let me plan and plot. You know, with my witchy, lustful ass. Let me plan and plot with my friends, my little coven, on how we can disrupt this. Like, you old wench. Yeah, but God. But God. The Hierophant. Let's talk about God, divine intervention, uh, a religious figure. What they thought. Stop coming from my collective. Didn't we have this come out yesterday in a totally different deck? Totally different deck. The same order. The Hierophant and the Emperor. They can't stop shit. They plotting and planning. They're not going to stop shit for you, collective. Their high level commitment, their Ace of Cups, your Emperor, your counterpart, they're coming. They're coming towards you. They ain't stopping shit what they thought. 
Yeah, and this person is plotting and planning, you know, with their little coven or whatever. Ten of Pentacles reverse. They're not going to get what they set out for, which was yours in the first place. They're not going to get it. Ten of Pentacles reverse. Nine of Pentacles reverse. Still codependent, still jealous, still naggy, still nothing. Yeah, because somebody's made their mind up here. Two of Swords reverse. They are no longer at an impasse. They have made their mind up. They've made a decision. They've chosen their soulmate. Two of Cups. A love partnership. Five of Pentacles reverse. Going from a bad situation to a better one. Coming out of poverty. King of Pentacles. That's Daddy Warbucks. Some, somebody's protected. Or this could be you and your masculine energy. King of Pentacles, standing your ground. Look at you up there with them sword, or uh, with your wand and that shield, and your dragon. All these karmic caters got their wands up. Yeah, you defending yourself. You're protected. This also talks about protection. You got good news coming towards you. Page your wands. Queen of Cups, what's up, boo? Hi, love. It's my boo, man. <laughs> Queen of Cups, baby, what they thought? Knight of Wands. Yeah, you got a king of swords that's passionately pursuing you. They don't want to miss this opportunity. They don't want to be rejected. They don't want to let you, you know, they don't want to pass this up. They coming for you. This person, uh, they might be stuck in something. You know, they've been stuck, but they have that halo of illumination. They see, just like we had the veil reverse. They see the real now. They see what's up. They want to take a leap of faith. They about to, they about to jump. They about to take that leap of faith. Go a new direction to get emotional fulfillment. Uh, for those of you that are wanting this, you want your person back. You about to get it, boo. You about to get it. Wish, uh, so wish granted. Three of Pentacles. Or maybe, you know, oh, another thing I'm getting to. For a lot of you, you know, you went a different direction. You took a leap of faith. You went a due direction or you're going. You're taking a leap of faith and walking alone. You love yourself. That's all you need. Three of Pentacles reverse. You don't want to collaborate with nobody. Because the last time you tried to collaborate with a joker, we see what happened. You don't want to collaborate with nobody. You don't want to work with nobody. Why? Empress in the upright. You good on your own, baby. You all four queens in one. All four queens in one. You possess all the tools and all the power that you need to manifest the life that you want, the things that you want, your every desire. Empress, DF. My collective, hell yeah. The world. And, uh, I cannot make this up. The world. Cycle close. Completion. It's over. It's a wrap. Congratulations. Man. Baby. What's up? That always made me feel good. You know, we come to the end. You know, and it's a uh, man. It's just, yeah. Uh, I'm going to pull, like I said, I had one of you send me this Lightworker Oracle deck. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, family. Uh, I'm going to pull two cards from this one. You know, just to break it in. I, I did shuffle it uh, already. I want to pull two cards. That's a good one, Spirit. Uh, second Ray of Wisdom. Second Ray of Wisdom. And uh, Dark Angel. Oh, goodness. Dark Angel. This uh, artwork is amazing. Okay. Uh, second Ray of Wisdom. Number two could be significant. All right. The second ray of wisdom is a conscious consciousness of loving wisdom straight from the heart of the universe. It amplifies the magnetic power of attraction, empowering you to pull into your life all that is needed for your life's work. It brings the opportunity to heal, restore, and understand through the power of love and the light of the ancient wisdom. The spiritual master known as Buddha is with you now to help you fully receive and integrate the blessing of this ray of light from the universe. Period. I had just got done saying something about that. You possess all the tools and all the power you, you need to manifest. And what did it say? It amplifies the magnetic power of attraction, empowering you to pull into your life all that is needed for your life's work. <coughs> <coughs> Boy, <coughs> I'll rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Something tried to choke. Choke the, the, the mess out of me. Goodness. It brings the opportunity to heal, restore, and understand through the power of love and the light of ancient wisdom. Second ray of wisdom. 
Is there a divinatory meaning? No, okay. All right, uh, the second one we have here is Dark Angel. Oh, good one. But step to the other side. We're going downstairs for a second. Hold on. <laughs> dark Angel. The Dark Angel comes to you with a radical truth. Divine love is always there for you, without exception. Love will never forget you. It will never stop caring for you, even when it seems most unlikely. In fact, uh, especially then, the divine is reaching for you and nurturing you. Even our wounds are ways that we can discover love and divine grace through the healing process. The divine is always helping you remember who you are and find your true way or your true joy. When the dark angel appears, you are being given a gift of light, even if it may seem to be a hidden blessing. Uh, dark angel. Does uncle this just stuck out to me, so I'm gonna read this part. Uh, does unconditional trust mean that you give up if things get tough, assuming it is not meant to be? Of course not. And out of all of this, that I was drawn to this one sentence, this opening sentence right here. Does un does unconditional trust mean that you give up if things get tough, assuming it's not meant to be? Of course not. So even if things get tough, don't give up. Keep going. I mean, which a lot of y'all already know that. I feel like this might be for somebody, you know. Maybe considering stepping towards the light, you know, getting in the North Node, it's going to be difficult. Ask Collective. It's, go it's been, <laughs> it's going to be difficult. The name of the game, I say it every reading, the name of the game is keep going. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Uh, Dark Angel. Um, that's all I got, fam. I hope this helps. I'm going to close this reading here. I hope this helps. I hope there was some, uh, you know, some confirmation, some clarity. You know, maybe a little bit of insight. Uh, you know, maybe you just want to spend a little time with me. You know, thank you so much. I love you. Um, thank you so much for joining me, fam. I love you guys. To the moon and back. Um, as always, I'm Kev, Intuitive Kev, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.